So is, does everyone have their their sheets and their dice and their uh, liquid of choice? I have everything but a clue what's going on. <laughs> Neither do we. <laughs> Seemingly. I was going to be like, is everybody wearing their pants? <laughs> um extra tight belts today not the warforge but the act- not the warforge war put your overalls on it's time to get busy okay and the um we're, we're actually going to start with you there mr bits aka bert so that we can reunite when last uh sorry tubs you're cutting in pretty heavy i i heard last time and and then you went blank internet being really poopy and then i had a coughing fit you left off mr burt burton uh, particle accelerator research laboratory with everyone else and a very high and floyd the fish dancing to house music well um, assisting mother nature in pouring some synthesized nichigo the new street drug being smuggled in by vlorna the russian mafia uh, so that, that Mother Nature could return her $2,000 worth of drugs that she fed the fish the night before, apparently, as you were piecing together the events of the hangover. Fed the fish. That should be a, that should be a phrase. Standard nomenclature. Fed Floyd the fish. And as the rest of the... The party ventured forth to make the drop off at the Daffodil Club. You decided, because it's convenient to the plot for your absence for a couple of sessions, uh, Bert decided to stay behind and keep an eye on Dr. Ethan Blagg, and nothing went down while they, they were. Conveniently, several hours later, um, that was about four o'clock. It's now closer to about 8 p.m. Same day, as of course it takes a week, no, not a week, several months to go through this game, apparently. And they see calm down, no negative effects. When it occurs to you that Nuclear Particle Accelerated Research Laboratory, they'll signal the whole thing thing is jammed, so you have no idea what's going on for the last couple hours. Venturing forth from the central tower, you exit, not a Banksy reference, that's an legit, oh well, I just got reconnected. Okay, so what was the last thing? Hello? Hello. Yeah, you're Hello? Been very choppy. Yeah, it, it just it just hard reconnecting. You know what? I'm gonna let's see here. Oh, it's gonna be fun tonight, isn't it? Okay. Can everybody see me? Can everybody hear me? Right now, yes. Okay, good. Thing you guys heard. Um, you were talking about we didn't have cell signal in the particle accelerator building, and so we have no idea what was going on for the last few hours. Oh, so, okay, that's not too far then. So then you central chat chamber of the new nuclear particle laboratory, exit through the gift shop, which is not a Banksy reference, and realize it's nighttime. It's about 8 p.m. You now have cell signal. 
there's no, no messages waiting for you because no one bothered to call you and tell you what was going on or leave you voice messages or text messages We're or any sort of communication. We totally felt on top of things up until like the very last second. So we were standing outside the Nuclear Particle Accelerated Research Laboratory with no means of transportation. It's, your friends are on point. Is there any actions you would like to take before we everyone else? I don't remember. Did Bert even, did Bert? I can't remember how we like, when we split up. Uh, oh yeah, that's a good point. Because last we left off everyone. Let's do a recap of everyone. Uh, Marge uh, is at home uh, with... Uh, Murray, the uh, uh, the the baby leopard uh, that she yeah. borrowed from the zoo. Uh, all the kids are doing their kidly things. Darren is fetch your return, and so he can stop having an aneurysm. Bird is outside the nuclear particle accelerator research laboratory, and both Tyler and Ricky have just entered Middle Park. Uh, and found a small army of these zombies uh, and managed to construct with some amazing roles um, wicker men after a fashion uh, stick figures lashed together with their shoelaces that are wearing yoga pants which they purchased from the planetarium at the college or the community college of the city's gift shop they say moon moon on the back on the tushy yeah, right. Instead of juice, see, it says moon. And, um, Face, moon, moon. Towards... When we split the... up, though, Sorry. when I can't remember when we split off from Bert and created the darkest timeline. Um, did we know what we were doing? Like, was it was it after like the sky had turned dark? That was, I think we were headed to the Daffodil Club after we left Bert. To bring the to go. Uh, the, the darkest timeline was actually after. Oh, that's right. That was. Uh, so Bert when... never went to the Daffodil Club with us. No. So he's just discovering that the sky the is dark. Club, the dark happened. Uh, while, after Marge left, before Tyler and Ricky got in the car to go to, or get on the Vespa to go to the planetarium. Right after uh, and poor Bert has not a clue of what that which we're talking about. But he's just now stepped outside the nuclear particle accelerator research laboratory. Correct. So he can he see that like things are weird? Well the at the top it's dark. I mean, but it's eight o'clock. Oh, that's right. It is 8 o'clock. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily look unusual. And oh, yes. And we we established like exactly when... from the entrance to the middle park was at... Sorry, go ahead. We established that sunset was like 7.30 or something last time, didn't we? Right, whenever you got to the planetarium. Um, in mid Far off, there was a plinth in which there's there at one point there was a statue, uh, a, a political figure who turned out to be a, a racist pedophile, had his statue stripped, stripped down, but the plinth remains. Above which is a giant spark of electric, which it appears a man in dark robes is floating and laughing. Well, you can't hear the laughing yet. Um, I guess the first thing Bert would do is to call Marge because. One, he needs a ride home, and two, he needs... I guess since he doesn't know anything's really going on, he's just calling her basically for a ride home. Marge, your phone rings. Oh, my God. While you're sitting on the couch next to Darren, I'm thinking that you were done for the evening. Your phone rings. Yeah. 
Okay, Marge answers. But and she's Bert's like, um, um, I'm at the planetarium. Any chance I could get a ride? No chance. I've drunk all the wine. Because <laughs> she did. You, you like actually said, they sat down and drank like a shit ton of wine. Put the kids next to the to to Snuggy, Snuggy the dog, and Canary, the leopard. Let them amuse themselves, and and Darren and Marge are just drinking all the wine, trying to forget. I'm a little bit over the legal limit right now. Okay. And we know how things don't go well when that happens. Yeah, it's never good when the superhero gets a DUI. But what, you you, you want me to... Uh... Well... You could get it dropped. That was, was going to be my next call. Because the Vespa, at least last I knew of it, was in two pieces. Absolutely. Are the... Yeah, you should call the the boys. I think they still had the uh, rental. Yeah, yeah. And I still do not have access to the headquarters, correct? Uh, as of right now, you're not entirely sure what where that um, is, but you do not have a... No one has recovered their ID cards, if that's what you, what you mean. Yeah, our our junior associates, because Marge is like trying to make it sound like she's talking to someone from work, like work work, not like you know secret work. Right. Our our junior associates, uh, they should be able to pick you up. Okay. Yeah, because Bert's kind of stuck because his uh, credit card is maxed out, and he can't get back into the headquarters to have some place to sleep. So, all right. I'll give Ricky and Tyler a call and see what we can work out. Yeah, they're probably there's... just playing video games or something. There's enough on your cards to get a drop into the, the middle of the city. Um, what you don't know, though, is where uh, Tyler and Ricky are. Um, oh, Marge is like, oh, oh yeah, um, there was something kind of weird. Uh, heading home from the zoo... There may be something up with uh, the sky. It's very overcast right now. Like, no sun. Darren is aware of it. You don't have to hide it from her. You know, yeah, but she, news, she's, but she's trying not to can... say anything about, like, have you, you should check the news. Since you haven't been, you haven't been, like, uh, in front of a TV, I, I assume. Okay. All right. So... Bert kind of gets the hint that Marge is not in a position to talk, so he says his goodbyes and hangs up and brings up the uh, the nothing's good in the news network. Of course, because you find out very quickly um, that pretty much every major news outlet on the planet is, well, at least not on the planet, but the area is uh freaking out over uh, the fact that the sun decided to set about four and a half hours early today apparently vast patches of of inky darkness just like the dead night sky and um there's something about zombies floating around all over the place although the for a zombie outbreak the list of injuries seems to be shockingly minimal just a couple of uh, minor injuries and one serious injury reported where someone who was on one of the metro platforms apparently got pin fell on to the actual rails and busted their hip but no reports of any you know anybody getting eaten or anything of that sort the same thing you would expect from you know a zombie film ever None of that has been happening. I'm just no, cackling. What? I'm cackling that Marge is at home drinking a lot of wine, knowing that this is going on. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, she doesn't know what's really gone on, though. Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot she doesn't know, but 
She's like, oh, it's fine. She feels like everything is figured out. They weren't actually eating people, and they're just pulling pants down. That's probably that's that's something that that you guys can handle. <laughs> now, uh, um, Bert, one thing that uh, Mister Bits would have probably done at some point is, uh, you know, enable some sort of GPS positioning and tracking on his friends so that he can locate them at any point in time should he need so. Especially oh, after well, the incident. Well, of course, he hacked their phones. Of course, he did. You know, especially after the uh, the incident with uh, uh, Elephantum and the kids. So, okay, you can so quite I checked, easily tell that, it, that uh, I checked their GPS location. At least, well, Tyler's doesn't support it because it it barely not Tyler's phone barely cool. s- barely supports voice talking. Yeah, yeah it's more uh, of a it's, Morse it's voice. phone. Yeah. Uh, her hand is located uh, in Middle Park, Terry at the Community College of the city. If you're going to order up a drop, we'll actually have that happen a little bit in the. You will pull up in your drop vehicle. To... Not far from where they're located. Okay. tip the driver mm, just a little bit because i have no no idea how much money i left have left on my card you had 170 from whenever you were stripper dancing <laughs> well but i also potentially have to get a hotel room so oh, the other yeah, I, you're not wearing the the, the sporin Oh no, I'm in, I'm back in my regular clothes. Yeah. Oh, are you talking regular clothes or the superhero outfit? Uh, I think we changed into the superhero outfits, didn't we? I believe I. Yeah, I believe that to be the case. Before we went into the uh, Daffodil Club. Okay. So, um, Tyler and Ricky, to uh, go ahead and make some smart plus perception rolls for me. Eight. Ten. Okay. Uh, both of you notice the, uh, uh, in, in the otherwise, well, no, I wouldn't, I was about to say otherwise quiet. No, it's been pretty chaotic, but you still manage to, to hear the squeal of uh, some tires pull up suspiciously towards the entrance of the, the middle park where you, you entered. And stepping out with a flourish is Mr. Bits with his. Then leaning in, tipping the driver and closing the door. Mr. Bits, you see both Strikeout and Shota in full costume, holding what appears to be literal stick figures uh, made from actual sticks gathered from the trees in the park. Wearing yoga pants. The stick figures, not them all right i walked up to him and i'm like all right you guys have to bring me up to speed there has to be some story here and i here's where it's going to get interesting because i've been waiting for this catch-up bit weeks the sun is not okay okay do you have your belt on Um, sure. <laughs> Do it up extra tight, sir. Things are about to get fancy. Spandex doesn't usually have belts, so I'm not sure there's even loops. It's good. That'll work. These zombies have a tendency to want to pull your pants down. Okay. They don't seem, it seems to be like have replaced their interest in eating brains. So we we fashioned these, uh, these wonderful mock-ups of human beings and, and And I like stick it right in his face, put them in yoga pants to act as a diversion. 
We also notice that there is a uh, scary looking dude on the plinth over there. He looks kind of boss. Yeah. It's a good thing you're here. Don't, don't you mind could, him. You can totally take care of him, <laughs> and we will deal with these zombies that we are super prepared for. Oh, but isn't Ricky the stud? Well, that's right. I mean, Ricky could probably take care of it, and I could, like, do all the zombies and stuff. But, yeah, you're really good, too. <laughs> I mean, do you think this is a good this is a good plan, right? And, and as you survey the park, uh, middle park here, um, the, that there are scattered around a half a dozen or so um, what you would only describe as zombies, uh, rotting corpses in various states of decay, aimlessly, uh, apparently looking for pants. Yeah, but... Um... It's dawning on me that basically everything I do is completely nullified against these guys because, well, zombies don't have brains. That is a very real concern. And they're already dead, so irradiating them probably won't do any damage. Maybe the dude on the plinth has a brain. You haven't used since episode two. <laughs> oh, that's right! I forgot you had a giant screwdriver. You have a giant screwdriver? Well, you have a giant <laughs> yeah, screwdriver? This is before you started playing. <laughs> I know. <I'm> just like... <laughs> I have never seen that before in an episode in which I have appeared. <laughs> Did you just break the fourth wall? Maybe. Tyler is not familiar with, with giant screwdrivers. He is only used to the power of Bert's mind. So, uh, yeah, Bert brandishes his very large screwdriver and <laughs> ponders about how screwed he really is. Oh. Are we, uh, do we get to roll initiative? Well, at this point, it does not appear that we're kind of at the, the calm before the storm. They're just aimlessly shuffling. Um, initiative order has not or an action that would shove us into initiative order has not yet been taken on either okay. side zombies do not appear to have noticed you do you think the dude on the plinth with all the lightning do you think he might be like responsible for this like maybe he's controlling the zombies and if we take him out it'll just like make all the zombies take a nap or something Start that is a putting wise on, deduction. Start putting on pants. Can Bert do kind of a low-level telepathic scan of the area and see if he can get any feeling for this guy up on the uh, up on the plinth? Yeah, sure, it's a it's a bit on the edge of uh, what you would call your 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 typical range, but uh, go ahead and go, give me a, a roll that would be your smart plus telepathy. And your hero die. Yeah, I rolled a seven. All right, good enough. Uh, base value you really needed. Um, kind of scan around from a, a, a surface level thoughts that you pick up. Uh, well, I mean, you, you gloss over Ricky in front of you because they're, that's like scanning Bill and Ted. Uh, asked the zombies, <laughs> as, as expected, the zombies, uh, yeah, there, there's, you're not getting anything from any of them. They're not even registering as a, a, a cognizant uh, uh, presence in your mind. Uh, the figure on the plinth, however, within the, the giant lightning sphere, um, you're getting things off of, of him. That's um, basically his, his superficial thought patterns run something to the effect uh, maniacal cackling and yes, go forth and cause chaos. All right, so I tell Ricky and Tyler, 
what little I've been able to gain and that it does appear that the guy on the plinth is the uh is directing the uh the zombie attacks. I'm glad you're here, Bert. I mean bits. <laughs> yeah, the, the the dreadfully threatening zombies milling around the park and doing Oh, and by the way, um, Marge is well into her um, evening allotment of mom juice, so um, she will not be assisting us tonight. Although, I don't know. Um, oh, Mother Nature I mean, we haven't even really the... tried to call her, so we're not worried. I was about to say, I don't know, Mother Nature swinging through the city trying to, you know, on, on her vine whips, trying to uh, not crash while intoxicated. But it's really like, it's 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 fresh on the heels of the last time it got Marge drunk. Does anyone really want to go there so soon? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see if our uh, wicker men work. Our, our stick people. Yeah, let's see if we can use them to distract the zombies and maybe move up to the set of bushes in front of the plinth. Um, that's just south and to the east of the plinth. And I should be able to use my, my mind attacks from there. Um, and then we can decide what we want to do. That makes sense. Yep. Sure, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So to move up south of of the plinth is that wrong? Or are you trying to be sneaky as we're moving from tree to tree? Yeah, I, I'll yes. I'll try to be sneaky with my uh, straw. Okay. Uh, so stealth is like, I guess, fast and hero. Uh, that that would be um, your fast and sneak, sneak skill and hero. Five. Twelve. Okay, we've got a. Five or twelve. I'm sorry. Strikeout. He's in. He's I keep. In I keep reading to try to like. Am I? Am I? No, I have no sneak. Of course, I don't have sneak. Five. Yes, that was that was a five. I'm sorry. I'm super. Is the total? Five. <laughs> Oh. Two fives and Equally the twelve. Stealth. Equally stealthy. It's the okay. stick people. Yeah, they're they're rattling and banging all over the place. Uh, Mr. Bits, you're you're trying to keep them collectively quieter, but they're they're rattling the the, the sticks, and uh, yeah, the zombie up north comes around the tree and notices you, as does this one. To the side. Now we are in initiative order. Whoop, Let's whoop. roll some initiative, uh, which, if anyone uh, has forgotten, is fast plus your hero die. I'm a seven. Nine. Nine as well. I'll let Ricky go first because I am probably going to concentrate on the guy on the plinth. Uh, well, on the same initiative order, you can decide on a per round base who's good, who's going first. Okay. Um... Okay. Cue the fight music, Mr. Bits uh, or Shota. One of you is going first. All right. 
Hey, Shota, you, can, you said I can go first. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so the zombie that's closest to us, I will uh, brandish my stickman uh, ahead and throw it. I'm just going to throw it at him and see what he does with it. Okay. Uh, um, uh, isn't really an attack so much. No. It's more of like, uh, and then I'll, oh, actually, you know what? I'll use my power of, my, my superpower to do some ventriloquism <laughs> from the, from the stick man, from me to the stick man that says, don't you like pants? So and you, I'll, <laughs> I'll like throw the stick man at him and then use some ventriloquism with my power yeah, to say, don't you like pants? in an effort to uh, distract the zombie. Okay. Hey. going to straight up be uh, your charming and parallel realities versus your smart and parallel realities. That one time it's good to be dumb. <sighs> Except when you roll like a idiot. Um, you know, I'm... Uh, it's an eight. Yeah, it's an eight. And then... Uh, yeah, of course. I fucking figured. Twelve. So, it didn't work. <laughs> uh, Not worth a style went... point, though. Not worth a style point, though. The one time you wanted to be dumb. Okay, well, you thrust forward the stick man and imbue it with a copy of, like, a, a, an illusory copy of yourself. So it almost looks like you, the embodiment of the stick person that is floating towards the zombie. And say, well, don't you like pants? Is the voice kind of flapping through its, its fake mouth. Uh, in a disembodied fashion, and right about that point is when it starts to crackle, crumple, and then catch fire and collapse in upon itself. Oh, shit. Clunk. And this. <laughs> and the zombie is nonplussed and still shambling towards you. Yep, that's fine. The all right, Mr. Bits. Mm, I'm rethinking this a little bit and thinking that maybe it's a good idea to um, take care of the immediate threats first. Um, so I'm going to attack the uh, the zombie right next to us. Um, I guess I'm going to use my uh, large screwdriver and try to poke his eyes out. Okay. Go ahead. Give me your offense and lightning. Screwdriver in the eyes. 13. Oh, wow. That's exactly what happened. Step forward. This, you know, the space where show to smoldering stick man ruins are. Your extra large screw and stick the flathead end of it straight into its eyeball. Go ahead. Uh, that's a difference of five. Wait, no, you said 13? Yeah, five. Yes. I can math. Uh, and uh, we'll add both. Add six to that. Let's see your screwdriver. Let's. Yes, did I? Well, then. I thought I had. So there it's been. Used so frequently, it's not even on the character sheet. Do, 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 do. Uh, we'll classify that as a well improvised light one hand. There's a crowbar, heavy chain whip, shorter lead pipe, or in this case, a large screwdriver. That's a D8 damage. Okay, and that's what I rolled. I, I thought that I rolled the light melee, and that's just for the skill level. So, okay. Oh, well, no. So add six. Your weapon damage, not, not the skill, your weapon damage. So you have your yes. difference of five 
for your attack plus, plus another d8 for the weapon itself. Six. Okay, so a total of 11. All right. And you squelch the, the, the flat end of it into its brain and wiggle it around, scramble it and pull it out. It stands there reeling, but it is still standing. I like the way you play, Mr. Bits. Screw these little games. And I kick my smoldering stick man. <laughs> Strike out. Now I'm si up. now I'm singing these foolish games from Jewel. <laughs> All these earwigs. I've got the I've got the I'm still standing in my head. <laughs> I'm still standing. Well. So, so Tyler has seen that maybe the pants, the the wigwams don't work. It's not a wigwam. The wicker men don't work so well. Uh, so he's gonna like, be still hugging his his stick dude with one arm, and he's gonna throw a little boom boom with the other um, to hit this other zombie dude who's the, noticed him. I think is this the one who's noticed him? Or is it the one to the left yeah. who's noticed him? The, the one you're next to, you're adjacent to, is the one that has. Uh, so he's not like necessarily one. moving next to him, next to him, but he's throwing a little boom boom at that dude, aiming for his head. Okay. <laughs> and uh, roll D, absolutely awesome nine. Well, that's okay because he, both neither of these zombies can roll for for anything uh, that's a seven cool cool a difference of two difference of, t of two plus 14 damage that i rolled so 16 ouch so yeah little boom boom streaks out towards zombie number two flying through the air cracking you see part of the skull is creeped in it stumbles forward but it is still advancing. Did you have anywhere you would like to move? Or are you staying put? I, I'm staying put. Let him come to me. Okay. okay. You being the screwdriver in his eyeball, or the object of his ire, forward towards you. Oh, really? Every a zombie has made tonight has had a one in it. Yay. So they roll like what? me. I'm a zombie. You're, you're, you're <laughs> a zombie. Must pull the pants. Right, so, Mr. Bits, what I need you to do is make some form of defensive maneuver. Um, if you would like to dodge, uh, use acrobatics to get out of the way, attempt to parry him with your screwdriver, uh, be a defense and uh, which defensive maneuver you would like to narratively take. All right, I am going to dodge. Okay. Ooh, and I rolled a 14. Oh, wow. With the, against his eight, yeah, you nimbly step out of the way and watch as his hands were going strangely towards your midsection, almost like it was attempting to give you a Goldberg-style golden spear, except in slow motion. And it appears to be slightly off balance now. Zombie number two over here does nothing but shuffle up closer towards Star cracked half of his cranium. That's the end of their turn. Notice neither of them have made any effort to notify the other zombies that something has happened. Mr. Bits and or Shota. You can go ahead, Shota. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, because I'll dispatch the zombie, and you can <clears throat> focus on the big dude, which I will uh, pull my sword out and stab forth. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, 14 on the attack. That would be a difference 
seven. A golden zombie. Sweet. I'm, well, that makes it ten total. I, I was. That, that's with the oh the wait weapon and oh yeah I got a flashy yeah I got a flashy weapon skills add another seven so that's seventeen. That's what I was expecting. All right, yeah. Uh, step to the side and full on samurai <laughs> off with the zombie's head, and it flumps to the ground. <laughs> and. I will um, I will move to intercept this one before it gets to my buddy Ricky here. Or um, strike out, sorry. Stop what you're doing, because I'm about to. Hmm. <laughs> Show you the stuff that you're used to. <laughs> and that's my turn. All right, Mr. Bits. All right, I am going to attack the big guy. Um, I am going to hit him with information overload, and I am going to make him envision all of these zombies turning in unison and mooning him. All right. Interesting. The pain, the humanity. And I rolled a 22. Woo! Well done. And I can't roll for crap tonight. That would be a, uh, a difference of 10. Oh, man! And my damage roll is what, 2d6? Or 2d8? Uh, hold on. Looking at it for information overload, it is uh, four die, which I believe you still have information overload at D8. It's it's going to be two or two or die. No, uh, information okay. overloads at D10. All right, that'd be two D10 then. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Uh, that's a. Uh, that's a total of 22 damage then or, or yeah 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 that's 22 damage we'll definitely get his attention and you watch as he reaches up and while still floating within the sphere of electricity reaches up and clutches his head and his shakes writhes back and forth like, ah! turning his head to see your group of people now that apparently he hadn't been paying attention to, he points in your general direction and doesn't actually say anything. He just points. So rude. I think all the zombies now know we're here. So now we have, uh, let, let, let's see here. Some people to add to initiative. Okay, there we go. Sorry, the accounting of all things. Okay. Mr. Bits has finished his turn by striking the, the cloaked figure with a, a psychic blast, shocking and rattling it and basically attracting his attention to or the attention of everyone else. At this point, zombie number three back here Shambles forth, but it's too slow to actually get anywhere to do anything. Strike out. Shambles forth. All right. This zombie, who's just a number to me, I'm gonna throw a little boom boom. I'm gonna throw a little boom boom at it. Don't forget to roll it on the token. Sorry. With a 12. A 12. All right. Let's see if the zombie... Uh, no, no, no. That's, that'd be a 5. 
So that's a difference of seven. So that's seven plus, uh... God, why are numbers so hard all of a sudden? Seven plus nine, which is 16 total. Again, 16, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he had four hit points left, so you, you basically strike him dead in the center of the nose and watches his head just explodes and little boom boom keeps going straight through and then swoops up and arcs back towards your hand. Okay. Am I going to have to polish a little boom boom off? Because of the zombie oh, guts? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're definitely... It is definitely good. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to uh, wipe my balls. My ball. Now, uh, zombie number seven... Actually, no. But before that, um, our little friend here who has not yet actually done anything. Um, no, you know what? He's not going to do anything. Uh, number seven here. Uh, number, number seven, number five, sorry. I can math. Math is hard. Shambles forward. Number four. Shambles forward. And number two. Shambles forward. Now, top of the initiative order. Figure in black. Makes some gestures in the air in front of him. Little golden, spell. glowing Just red trim. Sorry? Counter spell. Uh, well, you're you are more than welcome to try and counter spell. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, give her. Sorry. No, I'm just. I'm. I'm, I'm serious. Welcome to try. You've never tried a counter spell before, but you have no idea what's going to happen if it fails. Yeah, I know. Just keep going. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, uh, I'll tell you a thought. Never mind. Um, as the, the figure traces some, some shapes in, in the air, this glowing red trail follows behind him like, 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 a, 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 like he's all writing, really. And it appears to happen. Oh, bitch. Mr. Bits and or Shota. Go ahead, Bits. All right. Mr. Bits is going to skirt around the, or I guess let me ask you the question first. Um, where Ricky and uh, Shota, or <laughs> Ricky and Tyler are standing, um, how far is it from there to the to to the to the, to the robed figure? Is it more than ten feet? Um, from where they are standing to the top of the plinth, um, let's say about. 150 feet, give or take. This is not to scale. Can I, if Mr. Bits charges the plinth, can he get to the plinth and still have an attack, or will that basically be his move? Oh, um, from from where you are, you'd, you'd get about to the bottom of, of the plinth, and you'd probably climb up to the first tier if you wanted to. And would I but be... That would basically... Would I be within ten feet at that point? Within striking distance of of your radioactive? No, of my radioactive. Oh, oh. Class. Um. Would if if you were to get onto the? Well, it would be something that you would apply next round, but because uh, you'd basically be using your your whole movement to get to the top of the the first tier of the plinth. But from the, that position, you'd be a uh, let me, oopsie. Get rid of this line. If you were to go from, you get to, from here to there, if you were to do so, and then from there you could then radioactive, hit it with your, your radioactivity next turn, yes. What, what distance was that? 10 feet. That's only 10 feet? 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I thought you meant the radioactive blast. The radioactive blast is 10 feet. And you're, how far are you moving? Um, uh, about... I, just, I miss how far away the dude on the plinth is. Oh, um, from where uh, Ricky and Tyler are, about 150 feet. Uh, Mr. Bits is a little bit closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it's probably silly, but I'm going to uh, going to charge. All right, so you charge on up, ah, get to the edge of the plant, just run <laughs> up, thump, thump, uh, against it, pull yourself up. Ah, uh, that was that part was a lot less. But you are at actually the first actually actually instead of that, I'm going to run right up to the edge, and then I want to kind of duck down behind the tier. Okay, so I'm so I have some level of cover. We'll put you, we'll put put you there, but no, back to back with the. Uh... The stone plinth, okay. And uh, preparing radioactivity for, for for next round. All right, uh, but up, 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 next up would be um, uh, Shota. Alrighty. Uh, with the um, yeah, I'll just ma start making my way to the plinth, but by the way of murdering zombies. So uh, I'll move slightly north along the path to this one, and on the way by, I'll do this kind of running, jumping, spinning, jumpy thing with my. All right. Execute a running, <laughs> jumping. Actually. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try out my heretical alacrity thing, um, and right. so I'll pull a gun to, hoping to take advantage of your poor rolling. Hopefully. <laughs> now, of course, I'm gonna roll maximum. Well, I know, just to screw me. Oh, I rolled pretty good on the first one. It's a 13. I will say that's the sword. That'll be a different and the gun. Wait, 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 Resolve the so first. 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 All right, so sword, sword first. 13? Okay. Sword first. Thirteen. So yeah. So thirteen. Yeah. All right. Uh, it, he got a, a uh, that would be a four. So that's a difference of nine. Ow! Here it goes. Oh, fuck! Where'd that go? Under my fucking computer. Come back, dice. Baby, come back. Uh. Ooh, eighteen. <laughs> Wow, you nearly decapitated, you know, nearly headless Nick. Yeah, you just made nearly head headless zombie. Oh, so that's he's down. No, no, he's nearly headless. Oh, nearly headless. So as I land, I'll just put the gun right up to his chin and pull the trigger. Hopefully, if I hit, uh, it's a ten. No, that would be a five. Sweet. Yeah, so I pull the gun and I stick it right up to his chin and I pull the trigger until it goes click. Just joking. Um, <laughs> just a Jesus <laughs> reference for you. <laughs> oh, um, man. What was the difference again? Oh, five. Oh, okay, so plus four is nine. A, a volcanic eruption, a fountain of brain matter the, the sky uh, as you, you clean off. Um, uh, by the way, point for that line oh that thank good. you thank you strike out all right i don't know if i can do all of this stuff in, in in one turn but uh it might look cool i don't know so what i'd like to do i'd like tyler to do is throw his stick man at the zombie i've highlighted and then use his super jump to jump behind the this zombie here. Okay. And then if he can still actually do something, smack him with little boom boom. But I, I'm not assuming he's actually going to be able to do that. I'm figuring he'll just be able you may to... Want to. You may want to keep in mind that you need to be outside of 10 feet from the plinth. 
Is he within 10 feet of, like, if I, what if I go here? You can easily, no, no. this is, uh, it's not to scale right now, but there's, there's plenty of. Okay. Because he's just kind of like trying to throw the stick figure at one zombie to distract it. Like, theoretically, the zombie will have to catch it. <laughs> I don't know. But, and then jump over the tree and be like, Surprise! Well, that's your natural instinct, right? Is when something is thrown at you, is to try to catch But And then he's like, surprise, jumping behind the other zombie. Like, surprise, bitch. Okay. So we got some things that we're gonna we're, that are gonna happen here. First off, we're gonna resolve them in order. Uh, I need you to make a, a charming plus deception roll as you, you throw the zomb or the stick figure at the zombie in an attempt to distract. And I do have deception. Ha ha ha. That is 10. Okay. Double arm shove the, the stick figure, lobbing it at in the zombie's general direction. The zombie seemingly unflapped by it. The stick figure strikes it dead in the chest. Around the zombie gets a little bit tangled in... in the, the mess at its feet, but does not appear to be uh, distracted. Doesn't even trip. It's 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 a it hasn't tripped yet. We'll put it that way. I should have played it, it, the it might... the limbo song instead. <laughs> All right, and then your super jump. Since you're attempting to go a, a, a bit of a distance for a, a low-level jump here, um, uh, your uh, let, let's see, that would be strong plus uh, your super jump and your hero die. My super jump is d6, right? Uh, should I'm guessing it's a d6, either d6 or d6. Oh, cool! I scrolled up enough and saw that. Yes, it is. Oh, I just noticed Elephantum has super jump. That's a terrifying thought. Whoa! And, and I That's roll. That's a big dude to jump. That was be 12. 12. All right, without an issue. You guys watch his... Uh, keep saying Shota. Strike out, crouches down, and vaults into the air with incredible velocity, doing a, a nice three-point moonsault in the air as he does. Lands three things the zombie. Did you say moonsault? It, yeah, that's a thing. I'm like picturing like doing the moonwalk as I somersault over. Well, basically, somersault is while you're flipping forward. Mm -hmm. Moonsault is while you're curling back, curling backwards. Let's see if we can find a gif of it. Surprise, bitch! I was in front of you. Now I'm behind you. And from there, your turn is done. And the Discord is going weird. And of course, every every gif of a moon salt not is much a rest surprise here. Plane. It's a, wrestler. A, it's a wrestling one, of course. <laughs> I was just looking it up, too. Yeah, it's, of course, it's going to be everything is going to be wrestling. Um, I'll just throw a random one in there. Oh! Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, a it's a backwards somersault, basically. Okay, um, okay, okay. See, I, I was picturing like... All right. Kind of like some hang time so with uh, moonwalk. Uh, Not no no like <laughs> yeah, no, 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 like seriously no defying some gravity. Yeah no not quite. You're 
maybe with the maybe with some 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 more power ups, but not not at the moment. All right, so let's see here. Now we're at zombie number five, which would be this one. Shuffling down towards Shota. And lunging. Come on. Try your best. Try your best. So go ahead. Whenever you would oh. like to take a defensive action, uh, either dodging, I would like to take... uh, acrobatics. I, I would like to take a defensive action. Which type of defensive action would you like to take? I'll dodge. Okay. It's a nine. You rolled an eight. Because I can't roll for crap. <laughs> it appears your pants are safe. My pants are safe. All right. Uh, now zombie number six. Four, number four. Who is the one that just had a bowling person leap over and land behind him. He turns around. Lunges. Strikeouts, jumpsuit, which does not actually have pants, which we established <laughs> last section. That's right. It was an important establishment. It was, Canon, actually. Even. But, uh, uh, strikeout, if you would like to not have a zombie latch onto you, uh, you may take some form of defensive maneuver. Okay, so we're just going to pretend in an awkward fashion. <laughs> and zombie number six tangled up in, oh my god, I just noticed the yoga pants on the stick figure are blue. So zombie number six, stick, zombie number six, six is literally Tangled up in blue. But um, oh, while you were AFK, a zombie latched onto you, but you don't have pants, so he just kind of got his head mm. mashed in your crotch in awkward region. Unsatisfactorily he... molesting me. Yeah, it's awkward. You've got hands on your hips, trying to pull down. It's not happening. Just kind of like headbutting your your solar the the, the tantian. It's just not not a good look. And back at the top of the round. Once again, the individual in in black is, is floating in midair, does not appear to be taking any actions. Uh, Mr. Bits or Shota, the two are up. There are three zombies left on the map. Go ahead, once again. I already got two first timers, so. Okay. Um, I am going to move on to the plinth, and I am immediately going to use my radioactive attack. Okay. Everyone watches as, uh, uh, once again, familiar sight. Mr. Bits starts glowing this greenish yellow, and then a wave erupts out from him. Go ahead and roll that damage. 37. 37. Now what's fun is that Plinth erupts and you actually find yourself falling about three or four feet onto to some rubble uh, as stone is just uh, chunks of fly everywhere. Uh, on the other hand, the wave that passes out from you kind of wraps around the electric sphere and bubbles that that's, appears to be protecting the person in blue or in black. So the whole thing goes kaboom! He has a force field! That would appear to be the case. Uh, now... Ricky and Strikeout, uh, both of you could make smart plus perception rolls to see if you caught none of that. <laughs> the explosion 
easy. Oh, 12. At max. Max perception. That's actually really impressive for Shogo. Very. Because all I have is 2d6. <laughs> Three! Three! Minimum perception! <laughs> Minimum perception. Oh, okay. That is three okay. ones. Thank you very much. That was be as a result of your moon salt. You did not see it. Yeah, my back oh, is now to him. Yeah, and the the uh, zombie more attention to the the attempted zombie molestation than than the explosion, flash of light, but not the the after effects. Shota, the way swing landing right at the plinth when it drops. Half of it is now gone. I'm just going to move you to the side for a second here. The plinth is now rubble. Crush. Oops. Mr. There we go. Complete rubble. Rubble, rubble. So it's like Grimace? I did not catch that. Isn't that the or sound the that, that... Is that what Grimace. Hambler says, or is it what Grim Grimace says? I can't remember. I think it's the Hamburglar. Oh, oh, we're talking about McDonald Land. Oh my god, wow, that's... Uh, whew. That's old. <laughs> 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 I don't even... Gonna remember. I just remember the fry guys creeping me the hell out. So, Shota, for once, actually perceiving something. Yay! Mr. Bits, you watch as you look up and see that the electric field around the this figure is still intact. It does not appear that the radiation did anything to it, but the Concussive force of the explosion took out half the plant in the process. Hmm. Rut row. Shota. Okay, oh, wait, you uh, did you make this to... in... anti Mr. Bits, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to move? Um, yes, yes, I would. <laughs> I would like to. Um... Uh, I'm trying to think of the best place to go. Run away! I think I'm going. Yeah, I think I'm going to move back over here behind the a corner of the plinth that hasn't exploded yet, and get some cover. Okay. So back to the wall, Metal Gear, or back to the plinth, Metal Gear style, duck down so he doesn't have line, direct line of sight to you from from where he is. I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. Shota, yes. you just watched that explosion happen. Mind you, the same explosion that um, only a few days beforehand you watched fling cars uh, across a battlefield and, and just atomize people. And it just went whoop across a trick sphere. Alrighty. Uh, whoa. Whoa! Um, I'll take care of this zombie first before I try to deal with what just happened. As it's getting a little too close. And well, Bob, um, you remember those from like Spencer's gifts all over the place? I will. Uh, yeah, I'll use the same. I'm going heretical. I still got the the firearm pulled, so I'll I'll start with the firearm first since it is fresh with zombie brains. And I just turn and point it at this next zombie and fire while moving towards it. Oh, God. Five. <laughs> you still probably hit. I didn't hear what the total was. but Oh, five. Sorry. Oh. Wow. Wow. wow, I was expecting you to hit. All right. So, slightly distracted from the active explosion, you take a shot, and um, Mr. Bits, as, 
a piece of the stone on the plane that goes above your head. Whoa! And as I, I was firing, as I moved towards him, and then finish off with the sword when I arrive. And that's a six. God damn! <laughs> Fucking horrible. Wow! This is. I'm, 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 I'm pleased a little bit with with this. It's <sighs> actually done something. On the other hand, I might need to retune heretical alacrity. We'll, 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 we'll revisit that later. Um, all right. Well, take a swing, and somehow the zombie moves in a in a strange fashion as it's shambling, and you cut straight through shirt, and there was no no flesh beneath it. But he is tied up with you right now. I never miss. It must be smaller than I thought. <laughs> well, speaking of which, um, having just cut through his shirt, zombie numbers, uh, oh wait, nope, nope, I'm, I'm skipping ahead in initiative. Strike out, you're up first. If only Strike out was close oh, enough man. to notice anything, he would say, no shirt, no service. But... <laughs> I'm assuming that my zombie friend is still hanging on in an unfortunate way. In a very ineffectual but awkward and uncomfortable fashion. So yes. I can't just jump away from him. Uh, you, you, your suit might take some damage. I don't want that to happen. My suit is, is wonderful. It's so attractive. I don't want it damaged. Yeah. You might rip a pocket off or something. I mean, this is my look, man. Now the important question, what was it made of? My, my superpowers are in the weave. So he's the just gonna... The thread of the weave. The thread of the weave. So he's gonna just uh, slam little Boom Boom uh, into this dude's head. Trying to get him off. Off me, man! But don't Double. splash! Don't splash! No splashing in the pool! No we splashing in the pool. Well, if you go for the lower spine instead of the head, there's less of a chance of it, uh, uh, you know, turning into an exploding melon. But will it kill him? Well, that's a that's a question. I mean, this is why I'm just going for the head because zombie rules. No, you, you do Rota and and the uh, uh, at planet Tapas at. Late night, whenever he stabbed one of the zombies in the spine and twisted it and popped the spine, that uh, it did lose uh, the con the use of its legs after that. So there is some form of some form of basic physics and anatom anatomical function at play. Uh, okay. The exact are mm, you're not quite sure of though, but at least I you know that spinal does something. I rolled a ridiculously high number. So let's just assume I hit. It's 18. Four. 18. And four. Okay. 18. Uh, I will not do a, any sort of dodge action, so it's strictly getting a defense roll. Um, and that's a one. So... Oh my god! <laughs> what? Every, wow. every, every, <laughs> This one's oh, exploding one too. Don't worry. Tonight. I feel like right, chicken so, tonight. Uh, what was that? Um, yeah, I'm envisioning just a, a double-handed, uh, two hands on the ball, hammer blow to to the L6 vertebrae. It's a total of 34 damage here. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> All right, there's a <laughs> sickening series of pops and. Oh my god! As you. Break. You hit two separations. That like the the, the what it, that would be. Uh, God, I don't. Remember. Don't touch my strikeout suit. Like the, the, the C six and L six vertebrae, and uh, just just clunk, take a chunk out of it, uh, attached at both points, and the zombie just goes limp and slides down the inside of your leg. So you have like 
zombie face drooling down your inseam as it goes Aww. to the ground, however. Unpleasant. Uh, you're still, you still have movement. If... And I will wickety, 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 wick this way. How far can I move? Uh, it should be on your um, your sheet. The the fast five times well, the speed. I, well, I can fast. move. I can move like forty or something. But how far is that on this map? We'll give or take. I'll, I'll put a scale right around the time that it's no longer underneath. I mean, if you want to go a, like a, a little nudge north or west. Still, you can you can do that little little nudge about there though. I have nudged. Right. I hope you I have don't regret it. Nudged. Following Behold. strikeouts turns. The 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 only effective zombie on was will attempt to push on to Shota's pants. Oh. I rolled a one and an eight. I will try to dodge. And that's a 12. Easy enough. Spin out of the air wet. Smack him in the back of the head at the flat of the blade. No. Zombie number six. Uh, Amateur. Oh, Amateur. Untangle him and fail. So zombie number six is still tangled, tangled up in blue. Back at the top, the figure in black in the lightning sphere, for lack of a better term, looks in the direction that he last saw Mr. Bitson and goes, That was. Mr. Vitz and or Shota. I did not hear what he said. He said that was that was road. Oh no, road. He's the, he points though. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Yeah, Shota. go ahead. No, you go. Repl you have to, you get the chance to reply. And so I look up on the plinth and, and say, well, and attacking us with zombies who want to pull our pants down isn't rude. I just watching. There's no proof that I did anything. So what are you doing up there? I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite catch that. Oh, I just asked him, so what are you doing up there? You appear to be uh, kind of yeah. directing these things. That you point notice, he hasn't said anything. He, uh, the only thing he did is at one, he pointed in your guys' direction. This is actually the thing was, that was rude. Technicalities. Is he wearing pants? No, wearing a long styled robe. Let's uh, see if I have a. Oh, that's right. He's wearing a robe. That's what he's wearing. Yeah. The mask doesn't look as cool. It's very easy, very. Thing for a Halloween shop. All right, uh, Mr. Bits is going to attempt to do a higher, I guess, a more intrusive um, telepathy scan to see if I can figure out what this guy's deal is. Okay, go ahead. That would be your, in this case, offense plus telepathy. Pro die. Fourteen. Uh, you try 
get a p deeper into his mind, past the surface thoughts. Brick wall, man. You get in but a void. Starry uh, night sky. No sun in sight. Let's see. That would be a twenty-one that he. Oh wow. Uh, you 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 try and you know press in. It's like um. Oof. A tough nut to crack. Doesn't mean it can't be done, but he's going to be a tough nut to crack. Is there anything else you would like to uh, take place? Mm -hmm. uh, no. I'm going to stay put for the moment. Okay. Shota. All right. The zombie is going down. Uh, so after I slap it with the flat of my blade, uh, I will try to s slice it with my sword. Uh, so it's a what? Yes, yeah, seven. Is, is this another heretical? Yeah, I'm doing one, it. Or yeah. just the, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Bring it around, swing. Back of his collar with a with a nine. <laughs> Damn it! Just a frag, just a fragment of, of of cloth. Just a fragment. I'm just undressing it now. All right, and then the gun the from short, flirting with it at close distance. A much better roll, eleven. Hey, hey, got a ten, but that's all you needed. <laughs> So plus one to my damage. Plus one to your damage. For seven. Seven. I shoot hey. it in the elbow. Yeah, just, just take a pitch as four. Right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move my full distance towards the plinth. The plinth. The plinth. All right. And Is that strike out. about right. Cool with that. Yeah, cool with That's that. Fine. Cool with that. Okay. How about here? How about here? How about here? <laughs> this is good for you. All right, strike out. You're up. Strike out, because he really just doesn't know any better. He's gonna try throwing little boom boom at Reb Dude. Okay. Go ahead and rude dude. Roll. <laughs> but that's not gonna work because he rolled a five. Yeah. Let it go and it watches boom boom curls out. You thought you put enough spin on it, and you you, you did. There's a little bit of spin, but it boom gongs off the uh, the, the lightning sphere that surrounds this robed figure and flies off wobbling and then streaks back towards would you like to uh move or take any other actions yeah he'll move closer how close can he get uh, from there you can get get up can he can he get hugging hugging distance? Um, a you might distance, not not quite. What? Just not quite. Wait. More like there. It's a little, it's a little easier actually to get onto the first part of the plinth because half of it has been blown up and basically made stairs to to get onto the first tier, but. Uh, the second tier is a little bit higher, and also there's a giant lightning sphere around it. Yeah, this lightning sphere. I mean, is it just like you can't you can't pass the lightning sphere? Touch it and find it. Actually, that's more that's more of a that's more of a, a Ricky thing, isn't it? <laughs> what? Well, Ricky's left hand or left forearm and hand are completely numb. True. 
but how would I know? How will mm. I know? Zombie if it hurts. Number, zombie number seven is uh, turns around and shambles up behind Shota. Apparently upset that it, you have left while still pan, while still wearing pants. And oh, oh, wow! Right. Oh, are my pants in danger? Pants might be in danger. That's a twelve. Okay. Um. What am I rolling? Oh, here, here we are. Uh, defense and uh, most likely dodge. Yeah. And your hero die. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Hey, wow. You hear two fives and an eight. <laughs> you hear the zombie shambling up behind you and kind of instinctively feel the lunge is about to happen and just juke forward and watches he it nearly nearly face plants behind you. Uh, like I said, amateur. Six has detangled itself from up in blue, destroying the stick men in the process. Let's see if it notices anything. It's at this point looking around aimlessly <laughs> and does not catch sight of any. It needed to roll a five. It needed to roll a five on a perception and failed. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just wandering around aimlessly. Put him that way for to mark him as confused. At the top of the round here, the figure in robe seeing upon seeing everyone converge upon his his presence goes. Mm, I don't like the way this is turning out, and, and make begins drawing some gestures into the 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 the. the space in front of him it looks like a circle manner of glyphs and shapes around it but he can't quite finish it in a single turn mr bits or shota either one um go ahead shota okay um i'll yell at him what have you done with the sun and uh, I'll run towards the lightning spear. <laughs> full full speed towards the lightning spear. Okay. Oh yeah. You can get to get to where you are within next to Mr. Bits' stairs, rubble stairs. Like here. Although, do me a favor, just 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 to make sure, fast plus athletics roll, just to make sure there's no fast and athletics. Just make sure there's nothing funny going on. You don't. Nothing an funny is happening here. Nothing funny is happening. Eleven. More than enough. Okay. Make it up there handily, leaping up from busted piece of rubble to busted piece of rubble. You get it to if you're within touching distance of said lightning sphere. Oh, I can't like run right through it. <laughs> uh, well, can uh, you can attempt to run? Through uh, it. I, I'll attack it with my sword if I'm in touching, because that's what okay. Ricky would do. That's what showed. Okay. Blade versus lightning here, round one. Go ahead. Here we go. It's a 13. 13. It's a real good thing that weapon is bonded. <laughs> you feel as you swing your... It's like in slow motion. Uh, you know, the, right before you, you know, sense something really bad is going to happen, how you get that time dilation going on. 
you see your blade arc through the air, bringing it down overhead from your right down cross towards your left hip. And as it impacts where the edge of the sphere would be, watch a bright arc of electricity seemingly coming from the middle. Is it from him or is, is he on top of it? It's, it's uncertain at this point. But an extremely bright arc streaks from the center to where your blade is. There is a flash and your blade is airborne going the opposite direction. In this case, going uh, it, east at very high velocity. And this, this tree right here. Oh, you need to make another fast plus athletics check. Prevent off the second tier of the points. Fast and athletics. These, or you can use acrobatics if you wish. Acrobatics is slightly better, so I will use that. Ha! Eleven. Eleven. Kind of leaping up in, in the air a little bit to, to let some of your the momentum bleed off. You land and skid about a foot back, but don't lose your footing. It is in the... You do not see that any seeming effect has had has taken place in this lightning shirt. Like it does not seem to have had any. Ooh. There's no crack or. Can I call my sword back to me, or do I have to wait? Sure. Okay. Reach out Thor style. Oh, I have to share this because this is my favorite gift from uh, another one. I have to put this in Discord while we're waiting. There we go. Reach out. <laughs> your blade. Slice. That's right. It's still kind of like tingling from, from latent charge that's, that's <laughs> within it. All right. Mr. Bit. All right. I am going to try an information overload attack. And I am going to try to fill his mind with kind of a fog and the thought that he can't remember the symbols that he is attempting to inscribe in the ground. Well, that's mean. And I rolled a 15. Uh, he got a 16. Just try and, and you see him all, almost falter and lose concentration, but he should no not this time and continues drawing the glyphs in the air just a little bit faster this time. you still have movement if you would like to reposition yourself or take some other minor actions um yeah i think i'm going to since all of this is going to be mental at this point i think i am going to move back here oh that okay is that too far in a move? Go ahead. Eh, the hand wave. That's fine. Uh, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really matter if you're in front of the tree or behind the tree. Although, ironically, that was the tree. As you run past it, you see the rather large cut where Shota's blade was sticking in. The city gets very, very annoyed if you carve into the trees. You guys, You guys know this. If they catch so, you doing it, that's a huge fine. I kind of felt the wind of the sword going back the other direction as I sprint backwards. You're going one way, you watch the sword whittle itself out and fly right back past you. Ships passing in the night. Um, strike out. So my goal is to keep hitting this thing until it, something happens or I kill myself. <laughs> Because I don't really know what else to do. So strike out. He's he's rolling back with little boom boom. He's not throwing little boom because he's close enough. Well, I guess he has to because there's that last step. But he's gonna just try to like wank, not wank. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna try 
that is Zarp. Uh, Zarp, the dude. Fab. And this time he rolls a 16. I'm going to aggressively masturbate in the direction of the villain. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, that, see, it's your, That's what Zart means, right? It's your fault for posting the, the Thor gif. <laughs> okay, well, uh, similar to what Ooh. happened to... Sorry, go ahead. So Tubbs planted the seed? Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, nice. Oh. oh, I don't want to, but give yourself a style point for that. If you're full too bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, so very similar to what you what happened with uh, Shota's blade. You re swing back with little boom boom, bring it to bear, uh, it cracks into it seemingly like an impossibly hard substance, even though there's nothing there. Uh, met with a lightning bolt, which just all out of your hand with a huge bolt of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Little boom boom flies out. Wobbles around aimlessly as though it's, it's lost its balance. Pull it back into your hand. Catching the ball. Still resonating with some some, some energy that hasn't bled out into the atmosphere yet. Uh, and I, I need you to make a fast plus athletics roll. Double check my athletic. I think it's a d6. Twelve. Good enough. You kind of like reel back a little bit, slightly less gracefully than the Shota did, but uh, brute, brute core strength. Tighten up and then retain your chin on the plant. Zombie number six. Oh wait, we skip. I almost skipped zombie number seven. How poor of me. Shambles over to the rubble pit and attempts to, to, to climb up. Zombie is are, are, are not as nearly as graceful as heroes are, and he only gets part way through the rubble. Zombie number six again rolls a three on his perception, but is still milling about mindlessly. It's just tries chewing on the yoga pants. Yeah, it tries to pants the tree. The tree doesn't have pants. And, and then on to the top of the initiative order. And as the figure, the black robed figure, frantically traces glyphs in the air, they watch as there's a flash of light. The, then the electrical, the electricity sphere and the black robed figure disappear. Run away. Well, huh. I guess we scared, scared him. Uh, Mr. Bits and Shota. Shota, obviously you and um, Strikeout are the first of the three of you disappearance of this electric left almost like a vast space uh, that was filled with a, a, a loud pop as the air came to, to fill the void and you are basically staring at each other you're going to be trying to climb up the plinth i hate it when they get away Um, I'm so, now, do you, you know, I don't really worry about the zombies so much, so I'm just kind of, I'll just walk into the space and, I don't know, just stare blankly at <laughs> Strike. You can see the, uh, slightly... Mossy. So the stone is a different color where the statue was than, than the rest of the plinth. Is of, of, of weathering. 
Uh, well, the one thing, actually, I'll look up into the sky right where I'm standing and see if there's anything weird it, 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 from this vantage point. It's just the sky, okay. And the other thing is, as of now, uh, or not as of now, but as of about uh, you know, 25 minutes ago, with it being the actual, it's really kind of, see if anything's different. The, the, the shape of the, the uh, blue electricity sphere happening to be the sun, that's pure coincidence. <laughs> I just know. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, okay. That's my turn. Mr. Bits. Um, I guess I will move back towards the group to address the remaining zombies. I'm assuming they stay animated. Yeah, you can't quite get to, to zombie yet. I mean, I suppose you could throw your screwdriver at him if you really wanted to. No, I'll hold on to it, considering it's my uh, only weapon. Also, don't you have a, a, a gun? I wasn't sure if I had it with me or not. Because uh, I do have a... I do have a pistol and a clip, and I also have a light handgun, an anti-tank uh, rifle, and a Famas F A M A S yep, rifle. Thomas, yep, yep. Uh, although the pistol, yeah. actually, the pistol, uh, uh, correctly, is one that you handed to uh, Shota so he could use his his new newbie. Mm, true, true. Cool tricks, if I recall correctly. Although to be fair, after the end of the. Uh, the end of the, the, the fight outside of the nuclear particle accelerator research laboratory. There were plenty of pistols and ammunition, so you could have easily picked up another one. I won't, I won't force you to well, wait. But so, yeah, you can have a... Uh, go ahead. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to say, uh, yeah, you could have the, 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 the pistol with you. Uh, ink rifle has been left in, in your, your suite. At, at headquarters, given that it's about six and a half feet long. Um, considering that I really don't have any skills with the gun, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, I think I'll hold off. There's a lesson for for the kids at home. If you don't know how to use a gun, don't don't play with it. Okay. So, uh, strikeout. There are still two zombies left. Wow. One of which appears to be a, at least moderate potential threat. Moderate to moderate. Now, Strikeout's going to turn the beat around. He's going like, to just step over. And he's going to throw a little boom boom at the farthest away zombie. Maybe there won't be any lightning years over there. The farthest away zombie does not appear to have an invulnerable sphere of electrical energy around it. No. <laughs> oh, cool. Bonus! And he rolls an 11. Okay. Uh, given that the zombie has no clue this attack is coming, that's... Uh, oh my god, I rolled a 1. <laughs> <laughs> Why are my zombies so ineffective? Why are you Bonnie, what did you do to my zombies? To your dice. Yeah. Is it because I'm using, using a pen, yellow dice? You? I'm using yellow dice. That's what I mean, I'm using, using a pencil, and it it didn't help all the time. But that will be 24 total damage. Streaking out of nowhere like a heat-seeking missile straight into the back of the zombies it mashes his head between the bowling ball and the trunk of the tree and just goes and the zombie slowly slides limply down the Splorch. side of the tree Splorch indeed Zarp and zombie 6 is dead which ironically is zombie 7's turn now 
He clambers up. Let's see. Can, let's see if he can make it up there. Is he going to try to like? Shota. Is he going to try to surf the crowd? <laughs> no, he's he's try trying to get up here to show up. He, he's trying he to get my pants. Up. I'm the only uh, one with real pants. He gets up to you. It, it, it was slow enough that you were uh, not in. Uh, back at the top, Mr. Bits and or Shota. I, so if it's all right, I'll just attack this guy. With my sword. I'm still like upset that the guy got away. I'm like, what? What do you want? And I'll slice the thing for 15. Uh, you got a five. So plus 10. 19. Yeah. Around clean and most of his neck all falls. Then falls to this first tier of the plinth. Then falls to the ground. Over here. Flump. 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 Comes to a stop right in front of Mr. Bits. And expires. Ha! And now, we are no longer in initiative order. Now, Mr. Bits, you caught on to one thing that, that a, a thread that seemed to have resonated with whatever the, the figure's thoughts were. Uh, and that is that he seemed to try and make it as though that he, he was just there and not actually having anything to do with the zombie outbreak. Okay. Although, from what you is that was very much a meticulously planned uh, deniability. Well, and the fact that when we attacked him, then all of the zombies came to us. Um, is a, considering it was a mind attack, so it wouldn't really caused them to turn and look our way. So now we here we are. It's about 8.25 in the evening at this point. Standing in Middle Park, there's still sirens and the noise of chaos. Ge general chaos. Not like riots or anything. It's definitely not a quiet night. This particular plinth is half destroyed. There's now carvings in a tree. Loads of zombies litter the ground. And the so just another Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. The motor pool car is Community College of the City over by the planetarium. And as it's about seven minutes until time for it, I think that's where we're going to call it. Discussion you would like to do right at the end? Um, I wonder if the world is ending, because I think we probably need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> And um, maybe maybe like in the morning, uh, we could ask somebody about what to do when a dude has a forest field. Yeah, I mean, we didn't we, even get his name. We haven't we haven't gotten that uh you know orientation yet. Yeah, I think tomorrow. Well, yeah, we got to get our <laughs> our stuff back in order here. Yeah, no, tomorrow we should be able to get our, our replacement cards and get into the get our, and all that. Get our stuff. wieners in the bun. Plus, uh, my jalapeno poppers, I'm running a little bit low. 
Gotta get that fuel. That's probably why I couldn't bust through that force field thing. Yeah, probably. I haven't, I haven't had enough jalapeno poppers. <laughs> And speaking of, of character addictions, we watch is, is Shota just, just rip just main lines and energy drink powder. Just... <laughs> <laughs> speaking uh quite a while, you guys have been a point for who knows how much sleep you actually got. It doesn't feel but you're definitely pushing the uh boundaries of of, of extremely tired. As as far as you're aware, you were at least awake at 3:55 that this morning, and woke up sometime around 9 a.m. Well, that's more than I get on a normal night. Yeah. <laughs> you know, can I, just can I think I'm sleeping I in the car tonight. tonight. Drunk sleep isn't I mean, as restful. That's a Tuesday for me, but. And there's also a difference between sleep, drunken sleep, and borderline alcohol poisoning passed out. Yeah, true. You guys were definitely the latter. So do you think the world's going to end if we, like, take a few weeks? I don't think so. I think we're safe. Nah, I think we I think we need to get some sleep so we're ready for whatever comes tomorrow. I mean, we should say like not on our watch, but the sun like, will come up tomorrow. I but, say oh. with conviction. We aren't the only <laughs> heroes in this city. I mean, somebody's <laughs> obviously <laughs> been chilling their Sunday away and not saving the city from like the sun uh, not being around. Yeah. Some people are at home drinking rosé. <laughs> yeah. Where's all the other heroes? I think Jeez. Bert's going to try it. It's like we're the only ones working. All again. He's going to what? <laughs> I'm going to try giving Swanson a call again. Okay. Even Marge isn't going to answer the phone now. <laughs> Good luck with Swanson. You, um, the phone rings a little bit, and then after quite a few, it, it picks up, and you hear it on the other end. Eh, what, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? It, it's like it, it, it's Sunday night, and uh, I have a headache of a lifetime. So what, what, what gives? We need access to the headquarters as soon as possible. There's enough going on right now that we simply need to get in and, and have access to our, our stuff and, and to all the intelligence that's available. What can you do for hey. us? All right, but, but tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll bring you replacement cards so that I do. Because I don't want to do this every day. I'll, that makes I'll, four of us. <laughs> I'll radio. I'll radio down the gate and let them know. Let them know that you're coming in. Thanks, okay. John. Thanks. Thanks, John. You're the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that anything? Is that all you needed? Just, just to get in. That's all we needed. We need just need to get to our rooms, get some sleep, and try to figure things out tomorrow. Yeah, and, tell me about it. Yeah, we also kind of need to know how to get through lightning force fields, but that could be tomorrow. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Click. <laughs> or, and sorry, and then the technical age. Boop. <laughs> Boop. All right, so I guess we get back into the car and head to headquarters. Okay. The destruction with Nary. Our intrepid heroes with an asterisk and a question mark head back parking sit uh, garage at the planetarium at the community college of the city get into their motor pool car head back to the headquarters turn it in 
and settle down for a nice long evening's rest. Yay. Bert's going to make a quick detour. Happy to the, endings. Uh, to the hot tub to get his uh, one okay. point back. All right. Uh, it, it would, you'd get it back overnight anyway. Speaking of which, so do you, Shoka. Uh, okay. Both of you are yeah, at uh, Thank you. Eight. Both of you are full up now. And like what, Tyler drops his, his jumpsuit, his precious purple jumpsuit off at the dry cleaners. There's like an in-house, like... Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's basically... The, as you walk into your, your apartment, to the left is a laundry chute, so basically everyone can just dump all the, their suits in and within an hour have it returned and pristine and... Oh, within an hour, you're just going to be like, hey, can I have it in the morning, please? That's the that's one you're going to be waiting there when you when when all of you awaken. Wee. So in that, 11 o'clock is where we'll cut it. Show up. Perfect ahead. timing. Yay! I'm scared of that guy. Well, I was able to do at least some mental damage, so I mean, sure does not. Got some things. <laughs> yeah, sure does not, of course. Sure does not scared of anything. I'm not afraid of anything. So that was your first encounter with an unknown entity. Yeah, like probably, I said, that we get his name. Probably not the last. I hope he's not Ebony Ma. <laughs> and don't forget, tomorrow morning, or in, in Marge meeting at M with uh, Edmund Wren. Oh, yeah. Oh, gee. To try and convince him to uh, uh, donate art piece to uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's uh, been so long that I'm like, oh my god, that was a stupid plan. <laughs> it hasn't been so long. It's only been, what, three days? When game, game time. All right. Well, that's a problem for future Marge. That's right. <laughs> Good night, Bonnie. Good night, y'all. Have a nice Thanksgiving yep. with the with the turkeys and stuff. You too. Yep. Catch you guys too. Bye, Steve.